Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday. It is still a um, a holiday, Memorial Day weekend. And I'm still not 100%, but I wanted to come on here and do a little something. So here's a book that I got from the Dollar Tree, Decep Deception Cove. And I started reading it and it's just not my genre. So I decided to go ahead and use it to do other things yeah so we're gonna do something with this okay and we're gonna start right here normally i start ripping out pages and what have you but i'm not even going to do that yet we're just going to go ahead and do something with this and i want to do it a little bit differently um i have my little heart container here as you can tell, and it has uh, different, hope you guys can see this, it has different um, glitters that I can use in different shapes. Like this is actual glitter and then there's like chunks, chunky glitter. Let me show it like that. So we have that kind, this kind, um, one's already spilling out. Which one is it? Maybe it's this one. Yeah, that one looks like it's open. Wonderful. Okay, and then we have this kind, okay? So we have some already open, and I'm going to open up my bag, my Dollar Tree bag. Place my book inside really quick, and just clean it up a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'll put it on top of my bag here. First thing I want to do is I want to use this nail polish, this Essie nail polish I got from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, it's like a little messed up in the inside. So I was like, I don't want to just throw it away. I already opened up the packaging. Let me do something on a page with it on this new book. So let's see how she is going to behave. It's supposed to be like a teal color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So again, you can use anything you got, anything at all. Really pretty. This teal is gorgeous. And I like what it's doing brush-wise. So you can use anything you got. If you're on a tight budget, don't have money to go buy stuff, you use whatever you got at home. To create whatever it is you're trying to do okay now this is going to dry up fairly fast so I'm gonna add a little bit more over here on the side some down here at the bottom a little bit more at the bottom and I think we need a line right here there we go and then some at the top Because normally what happens is you're decorating and you're doing your your different techniques and the bottom half usually goes a little wayward. There we go. Just want to add that to the top as well. I'm not even really dipping it in per se. I'm just going around the, uh, the rim of the jar. Okay, so, okay, next thing I want to do, I think that came out really nice with this Essie Nail Polish. It wasn't looking too good. That looks good. Next thing I want to do is I want to have a glitter moment. And I'm feeling, I don't know why, but I'm feeling, I'm really feeling this yellow. But I think it's going to be too much. And this one's already open. This pr pretty green. But I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that's copper. So yeah. Let's pop this off from this container here. Let me see if I have my other one. So I'm just going to take this little lid off. The little shaker lid. I'm just pushing it right through with the with this and then 
push it right here. Have to deal with the pen. So my husband made a big breakfast since I haven't been feeling well. He made breakfast and it was wonderful. He made um, these tasty homemade hash browns with sauteed onions. We had sausage, we had eggs. Oh my goodness, you guys. And this like really good pepperidge farm bread. It was just delicious. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, because this is almost dry already, believe it or not. I don't even have the fan on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just do some random glue striations up and down. And then we're gonna just try to put some of the glitter okay on it there we go there we go come all the way over here on the corner too spread that out okay so that's what i want to do i got the glue down this is going to be the messy part I'm going to try to keep it in this bag the best that I can. Then we're going to shake. Shake, 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 senora. Shake it all the time. You guys know that song. You know, it's popular for Beetlejuice. Work, 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 senora. Work it all the time. So I'm going to shake it on there liberally. Just so I can start getting the look that I want, and it would adhere to the glue. Okay. Normally, I try to capture whatever I don't use, um, but since I'm not feeling a hundred percent, taking some shortcuts tonight. Um, but I wanted to do something creative. I just been sitting in the room trying to keep still and it's like I haven't been able to keep my eyes open and I didn't want to go back to sleep again because you know when you sleep too much it affects you and I didn't want to sleep again but I kept nodding off I just kept nodding off over and over and over again okay so there we go now I'm going to try to put these away Especially the ones that are already open. So now I know I need to, I have two of them already open. I need to pull them out by hand. There we go. Then we'll put this one in the middle. And we'll put the other two here on the side. Or did I have to do that one last? I think I had to do that one last. Okay. Is it the last one? Yeah. There we go. So it all fits in there beautifully. Very pretty. Alright. Um... I think we're going to try to shake some of it off already, just lightly, right here in the bag. You see that? That's a pretty nice effect, right? I think so. I think that's a pretty nice effect. I wouldn't mind having a little bit more here on the side. Let me see the edge. Yeah, the edge pops some more. Okay, good. Okay, so that's looking very nice. Alright, let me close this bag up. Or I'm going to be literally glittering for the rest of the week. Wherever I go, I'll be leaving glitter. Like I'm a fairy. Like I am a serious fairy. A good luck fairy. Now, let's open up one of my sticker books. Okay. We used this one yesterday, if you can see it. We used that one when I did my tag, which I still need to finish. I need to find a stamp. I want to put a stamp on it. That's what we did the other day. If you guys can see that. Um, that's what we did the other day. I just need to add a little stamp there, but I got to decide what it is. What stamp. So let's use 
I thought I was going to use that, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to use that or not. Hmm. Might be something, a different type of thing I'm going to use. Uh, let's look at that one. Okay, so we're going to look at this one. I'm leaning over to see if you guys can even see it. Because I don't even know if you guys can see it, but... Let's see. Maybe if I move my book as it dries, so I can see what I'm looking at. Maybe I can put my book over here. Wait a second. I'm going to move my dollhouse miniature carpets. Put those up here. Lay them down flat. Okay. Okay, my page is... Trying to let it dry. There we go. I'm trying to let it dry in front of the fan. Okay. So, using what I have, this book is really unusual and different. Kind of like this. But let's keep looking. It has all kinds of things for all kinds of genres. I mean, whatever you can imagine. It's in here from trying to make a cute Easter card to doing Halloween and all kinds of different things. It's just, you'll find something for everything. Some of the stuff in here, the, like the ones I really don't like that I'll show you in a second that I think are a little bit suggestive or just downright evil looking, <laughs> I get rid of them and I just throw them away. There was one in here that I thought it was a little suggestive. Like this one right here, I think that's a little phallic looking, so we will not be using that. So we don't need that. And this one too. This is a little phallic looking to me. So we won't be using stuff like that, like ever. So that can go in the trash. But they do have some really cool looking ones. Like I said, anything that offends you and makes you feel funny, just get rid of it. Um that one's kind of cool looking. That's that's kind of cool looking. That's not. Hmm. I love the process of trying to figure things out and what calls out to you. I think she's calling out to me. She's calling out to me. I don't know why. This little one right here. She's calling out to me. Okay. Now I know this is not dry yet, so this is going to be a little tricky. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay. So we want to put her. I don't know if I want to put her up there in the corner or in the middle. Or even just right here. I am not too sure what I, where I want to put her because it's, I don't know if I want to put her right there, right there, right there, right there, or in the middle. I think, I don't know why right there looks pretty good to me. I'm feeling right there. I'm not sure why, but I am. So I'm going off of what I'm feeling. I'm going to add some glue because there's a lot of stuff going on with this page and um, may be difficult to stick because I already have so much going on with it. So let's just make sure it sticks. Okay. So I'm feeling like she needs to go right here. I don't know why, but that's what I'm feeling. So we're placing her down right here. Okay. I'm tapping her down gently, very gently. Okay. Yeah, I like her right there. I think she looks real pretty. What do you guys think? Can you guys see her okay? I hope you can. I think she looks really pretty right there. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let me see. I'm going to finish this up right here. 
let this dry overnight. I'm going to give it some thought if I just want to leave it as is or make a pocket so I could put a letter or my thoughts somewhere on here and create a pretty pocket or I'll just let that be the beginning page of the rest of my pages or maybe even put some wording somewhere. Um, I actually kept the title to this if I wanted to cut that out where it says Deception Cove and use it on a page because I thought that was kind of cool looking with the mountains and stuff in the water. So I might cut that out and use it somewhere in the book. But I think we're done for tonight. I'll let this one dry and um, see about doing another page or seeing what I'm going to add to this one. And like I said, I still got to find a stamp for this. I still got to find a stamp for that one. For this little one um, but I do like the be brave with your life saying here on top I really like that saying so thank you so much for coming by to visit and doing the beginning of this page um, I know I had a good time with you I hope you had a good time with me bye